Welcome to the Hotty Toddy Reader Spotlight, brought to you by the University Libraries. I'm Ashley Dees, and today I have Alex Watson with me. Alex, we're happy to have you with us here today. Thank you. Um, can you start off by telling us what book you've brought to recommend for us? I have brought the book uh, Roadside Picnic, which is by um, two Russian brothers, uh, Arkady and Boris Strugatsky. Or Strugatsky. I'm sure I'm massacring their name. All right, so tell us what you found interesting about this book. Well, it's a piece of Soviet science fiction, which means that it's already got a very distinctive sort of flavor. They have to um, avoid talking about real world issues or anything that could possibly upset their sensors. So they tend to talk in, in abstract terms about very interesting concepts. It's called Roadside Picnic because the conceit of the book is that um, aliens landed on Earth very briefly, just for a few hours, at a couple places across the globe, didn't appear to notice people at all, didn't appear to do anything, and then they left. And in all of the zones that they landed, they left behind a variety of strange objects and bizarre effects. And the um, protagonist of the book is somebody who constantly goes into one of these alien contaminated zones looking for bizarre artifacts and riches like they find all sorts of tiny little batteries that can provide an infinite source of power. They don't know what the aliens use them for. They don't even know if the aliens notice that they left them behind. And that's where the title Roadside Picnic comes in. They figured that the aliens were there for a picnic. They threw away their empties. And we're the ants who are coming in and wondering what is in the soda pop because it tastes so good. This definitely sounds like an interesting read. Tell us why the faculty, staff, and students here at the university should read it. Well, it, first of all, it's a slim read. As you can see, it's only about 200 pages, so you won't have to uh, set aside too much of your work during the semester to do it. Um, it's also, it's got a very different flavor to it than Western science fiction. Um, it's set up as a series of very short uh, stories with the same characters that are very loosely connected. It explores a lot of really interesting ideas, especially if you're an English major in a philosophy class or if you just like to think about aliens. Um, and it's, uh, it comes from a very different place culturally than what we're used to. Um, a lot of the, uh, the Russian and Soviet science fiction is like that. So it definitely puts you in a different headspace. And it's something that I feel um, could broaden some people's horizons. We have a few other things by the uh, Stryaskis in our uh, collection as well. They're not writing anymore, though. One of them died, so it's only the Strugatsky now. All right, great. Thank you, Alex, for sharing this book with us today. And if you are interested in reading Roadside Picnic, please come check out a copy at the J.D. Williams Library. Thank you. If you're a member of the UM community and you're interested in appearing in an episode of the Hotty Toddy Reader Spotlight, please contact me at the address on the screen. Thanks again and have a great day.